Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today I'm going to be talking about things coming up in the channel. Uh, in the background is For Honor gameplay. Um, it's not too big a video. It's not a great one. Uh, I believe it's like 11 and 3 or something like that. Uh, we get a really high like team score overall. I think we get up to like 1700 or something like that in Dominion. Uh, so I don't know. I decided to keep on this gameplay. I didn't keep a lot of my gameplays from For Honor beta. There was a lot of like 10 and 3s or 11 and 4s. Uh, 13s and 3, something like that. I just didn't hold on to them. There's some, like, 12 and 1s, 11 and 1s. Uh, there's a really huge objective game that I played, um, and that'll be coming up, but what I wanted to talk about in this video is what's going to be coming up on the channel. Um, I know I've just been uploading betas for, like, the last week, and it'll probably be betas for the upcoming week, uh, but I do want to finish my Final Fantasy New Game Plus. I am going to get back onto that. And we are going to finish that bad boy up. Now Dishonored, I'm not sure if I'm going to be finishing that. I have one like one more gameplay that it hasn't been uploaded. Uh, I'll probably throw that up whether or not I'm going to finish it or not. So that's not really an indication on whether it's going to be continued or not. Uh, I might try to set up an audio uh, with my Xbox. I've started playing with a couple friends a lot. And I kind of want to have it available uh, in case I want to do some live commentaries with them or do whatever. So... Maybe look for those in the future. Um, I'm going to try to get those out. And I keep hitting... Like, I do these, like, like when I'm talking, when I'm sitting here recording my voice. Sometimes I, like, I don't know what I'm doing with my... I, like, fidget with my hands or whatever. Um, and I hit the, like, metal bar on my table that holds my laptops. Uh, but that's, that's what that noise is. Um, but coming up, the next two games I'm going to be buying are Halo Wars 2... And I guess I should stop it at Halo Wars 2 because I'm not quite sure I'm going to buy For Honor. There's like a there's like a 75% chance I buy it. Um, if all my friends pick it up, obviously I'm going to go pick it up. Uh, it gives us a multiplayer game to play. Um, but I don't know how much replay value I see in it. Uh, once I There's only a few characters that I care to be good with. Uh, I really want to be good with the Peacekeeper. Uh, the Naboshi, the Orochi, the Berserker, and that's about it. There's like four characters that I want to be good with. Uh, and once once I got good with them, I don't know, uh, the game kind of gets a little bit repetitive. Um, I'm still kind of working on Naboshi, uh, even though I have the most time spent playing that character. Uh, as much as I like the Naboshi, the character I really want to get good with is the Peacekeeper. Uh, I just like how she plays, and I like the... She's more of an assassin type than the Naboshi and obviously the Berserker. The Berserker is not really an assassin type at all. I don't know why it's I don't know why it's labeled under that. Uh, the Orochi is the assassin. The Naboshi is the hybrid. That's what it's labeled the hybrid. But once I'm I'm still still kind of torn on whether or not I'm going to pick that game up. But we are going to get back to Final Fantasy. I am going to finish that up. And then we kind of have like a little lull in games, and I'm not quite sure what I want to upload. Um, obviously the Final Fantasy playthrough probably has enough parts to get us to Halo Wars 2, uh, with the combination of the Blitz Beta gameplay I still have and the For Honor gameplay I still have. Uh, so that'll probably get us to Halo Wars 2, I, I think. Uh, Halo Wars 2 comes out the end of February. And I think I think that's like the next game I'm gonna get. I'm still not sure about Resident Evil 7. Uh, I've kind of ruined it for myself, to be honest. I've watched a lot of Let's Plays. I spoiled the ending uh, and all that different stuff because I didn't think I was gonna get it. But I do love watching people play through horror games. Um, not really to be scared by them, but I just kind of like watching people play horror games because it's not really my thing. I'm not too into horror games. But Resident Evil 7, I do kind of like the story and I do kind of like the ending. So, it's like firmly on the radar. I almost went and bought it yesterday. Um, I've tried to be getting better with impulse buying, like, oh my gosh, this game looks really good, or, you know, just in general, not even with video games, like in general, impulse buying, because I waste a lot of money buying random stuff like I never use. Like, I have a Steam controller and a Steam Link uh, for my TV, and I never play games on Steam, ever. Like, that was just the biggest waste of $200. Uh, to buy those they're a lot cheaper now, but I bought them last year like last February like a year ago uh, When they were still like 200 bucks. I bought them directly from Steam I I overpay for some stuff because I like to buy it from I like to buy stuff new I'm not I'm not really into buying used stuff. I just like to buy stuff new 
I know it works, and if it doesn't work, I can get my money back or get it replaced. Uh, I pay extra money for that convenience and that assurance, I guess. I'll pay extra money for it. Uh, so that's kind of my deal with that. But it's literally just sitting in the corner over there. I probably should sell it because it's never going to get used. But I bought it for XCOM. And then they announced shortly after that XCOM was coming to the Xbox. And that kind of like destroyed my world. I was like, oh, great. great. I'm glad I spent $260 by the time I bought XCOM. I spent $260 to play XCOM, and then I, did, then I found out it was coming to the Xbox, and I was like, alright, I'll just wait. Um, because, I, I, like, I, I understand PC is, like, the better, I guess, system, it's not really system, but the better way to play games over the Xbox and the PlayStation. Uh, but I just prefer the Xbox, like, I just prefer playing on my Xbox. Like, I'm not gonna argue with you that it's better than PC. I just personally prefer to play on my Xbox. But... I would, I, I am considering maybe doing an XCOM playthrough, um, I'm like midway, or not midway, I'm like a third or a fourth of the way through on a Legends run, like the hardest difficulty, uh, to get the achievements, but it's kind of like glitched out, uh, every time I kill this one, every time I take this shot at the Archon King, which I have to take, uh, in order to kind of progress, like I have to take it, if, if, if I could show you the scenario, you I have to take it, and every time I take it, it comes out of the animation, the Archons, it says, you know, ruler, move, or I forget what it says, but the free move the ruler gets when you move or do, make an action, that pops up, then it freezes, then it crashes, and it has done it like 10 times in a row, uh, I even like took like a three month break off of it because I was pissed that it was doing it, came back, um, I restarted the mission, I had already tried restarting, but I restarted the mission again, got in a whole new scenario, and it did it again. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that or what I'm going to do with that, but I, I am considering, but also when I uninstalled XCOM, because I was pissed, it didn't save my player pool for whatever reason, so I need to go back through and save what player pool people are there, like, what people I have recruited and are in my game already. Um, but I don't think all of them are there, so I gotta figure out which ones didn't get saved, and I gotta rebuild my player pool. And it's just kind of annoying. It's a lot more annoying than PC, uh, but it wasn't really meant for Xbox, so, like, I get the issues. Um, other options, you know, I've got the Assassin's Creed Ezio Collection. I don't really think those games are so old. I don't think I need to upload those to the channel. I don't think there's too big of a reason to do that. Uh, there's the Infinite Warfare campaign, which I don't really think I need to upload that. Uh, maybe the Modern Warfare Remastered campaign, uh, just because that campaign is so classic and so good. Um, and then we've kind of come to an impasse. There's some games like on the Xbox 360 that I'd record if they were backwards compatible, but unfortunately they're not. Like, I really wanted to play Resident Evil Revelations, but it's not backwards compatible. I don't really want to record stuff on my Xbox 360. Like, I have to set it up. And I gotta hook it up to my HD PVR, and I have to reformat my my HD PVR to get the correct settings, because every time I plug a new console into my HD PVR, um, I have a little bit tweaked settings for it so that it's a little bit more better, optimal. My TV, I need to get a new TV because it runs at 1080i, not 1080p, which is an issue. Uh, it runs my Xbox One at 1080p, but it runs my Xbox 360 at 1080i. It doesn't take 1080p, and I don't know why. It'll take it for my Xbox One, but it will not take it for my Xbox 360. So that really hinders, because it bumps it all the way down to low quality. It's like 720-30 FPS, which is not really that great a quality. Um, the PVR can't record it at 1080i. It just, it's just not a recording setting for it to record it, so... Since it's not 1080p, it drops all the way down to 720, uh, which really creates some issues, I guess. Um, but there's like a laundry list of games I have that I need to beat, but I'm not really sure I need to upload them to the channel. Uh, Mass Effect 3, maybe, I guess I could upload the channel, or Mass Effect 1. Uh, those are the two I haven't full. I've never beat Mass Effect 1 on my current account. Uh, there are some games that I've completed that aren't on my current account, which I'm kind of upset about. Because if you did not know, I'm a, I'm a gamer score whore or a Gmail whore. Um, I love my gamer score. Um, 
And so I'm missing like 10,000 gamer score that I got. It's not that big of a deal, but that is a that is a substantial amount, I guess. Not a whole lot, but it is it is a decent chunk, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And there's like a ton of games behind me. Um, like I still need to beat Bioshock 2, and I need to beat Bioshock Infinite. I bought all these collections of like Assassin's Creed and Bioshock, and then I just never got the time to finish them. Um, and like during football season, I really took a break while I was watching football. Um, on Tuesdays, or on Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays. Uh, because I wanted to watch football over playing my Xbox. So there were some games and, st and stuff that got neglected. And so now I probably need to pick them back up. But I'm not sure they're like stuff I want to upload to the channel. Uh, another thing that I am going to start uploading, but I'm not sure how many videos and stuff I'm going to get out of it, is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Uh, it's a new app on your phone. Uh, and been playing way too much of it and so i'm gonna upload a few videos on it not sure how much or what i'm gonna do but i am gonna upload a few videos at least on it i'm working on kind of an overlay uh like i had for pokemon go uh but we'll see about that uh and so we're kind of like a crossroads waiting for halo wars 2 um i kind of want to do a halo wars 2 uh co-op campaign that's really why i want to set it up because i know there's three of us that really play together all the time. Um, and my one friend likes to play through everything solo first. Um, and so the other two of us can play the co-op together. And he can be in the party with us. It's whatever. Um, so I can record that. Uh, so I am thinking about doing that and uploading, you know, the full co-op campaign. Because I guarantee if it's anything like the first Halo Wars, there will be achievements for completing a co-op on Legendary... Uh, so we'll probably go ahead and do that and so it should be interesting um, uh, the first Halo Wars I beat it with a guy without a mic uh, actually no he had a mic he had a mic he was but he didn't talk much and uh, I don't even know what happened to him we were good friends we played a lot of different stuff together he helped me uh, with like co-op hard difficulties like Resident Evil 5 co-op on the hardest difficulty stuff like that we did games like that on the hardest difficulty uh, but that's just my thoughts on some of the stuff that I may be coming out with. I'm not entirely sure. I really need to sit down and figure it out because I'm going to run out of For Honor and Halo Wars 2 beta gameplay eventually. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to figure that out. But look for some raw gameplay for For Honor and Halo Wars 2, uh, the, blitz, the betas, um, and look for some commentary ones and look for some music ones. I'm going to mix it up, get some different stuff out there. Uh, but guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. Um, took a couple of long breaths in here. Uh, I recorded like this twice, and one of them didn't record, and the other one screwed up. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.